Hi, my name is Sebastian. I'm a Christian and I love Muslims. Some of you will not believe the story I'm going to tell you now, but it really happened. A few years ago, I was in Cairo in Egypt and I was going to meet with a friend. And when I found him, he was hanging out with a lot of other young people. Soon I realized that many of them were doing all kinds of drugs. And one of them was also asking me if I wanted some hashish. And I told him, no, thank you. And actually, I have something much better than that. And he said, what is it? Give it to me. And I said, well, what I have is Jesus. Jesus, he satisfies me. He gives me everything I need. And he was very surprised about that answer. I could only be with them for maybe 30 minutes and then I needed to catch a bus. And I remember in the bus, I suddenly realized, oh no, I didn't get any of their contact information. So I prayed to God, God, please send someone to them who can share your love and your hope with them. Send someone who can give them a message of freedom in the name of Jesus. Then I went back to Denmark and I was still praying for them. And after six months, I came back to Egypt, not to Cairo, but a totally another city, which is called Dahab, which is uh, about 10 hours by bus from Cairo. As I was walking in the street, suddenly someone approached me and he said, hey, I saw you before. And first I didn't know who he was. And then he started explaining and he said, were you not in Cairo six months ago? We were talking in that area. We were talking about this. And I was like, oh, yeah. And then we found a picture on my phone where we were standing together. After this, we became very good friends and we met every night and we were hanging out and we were just enjoying each other's company. He was opening up to me and he was sharing about his life, how he felt he needed to take all these drugs because of his problems and his situation. And then I told him that when I face difficulties in my life, I know I have a strong foundation under my life and that foundation is the love of God. I can fall, I can stumble, I can have all kinds of problems, but still I'm standing on the love of God. I told him how God sent Jesus to die for our sins, how he became alive again. I told him how that power that came into the dead body of Jesus to make him alive again, that same power can set us free from addictions today. So I took his hand and I prayed for him and I asked God's love to come into his life and into his heart and set him free. Then I went back to Denmark and again, after six months, I went back to Egypt. I called him and I said, hey, I'm in Egypt, let's meet. So we met and he told me that before he usually did drugs every day, but since he heard about this message of love, he haven't been doing any drugs and that was for six months at that time. So God's love can set us free from addiction. God's love can give us everything we need. Ask him to do it. Ask him to satisfy your soul. Ask him to satisfy your needs in the name of Jesus. Thank you for watching this video. Please share it with your friends so many more people will experience this message that can set free from addiction. The love of God shown through Jesus Christ. And follow Al Bishara on YouTube and Facebook for many more videos. Bye.